Hi, it's uh, half past ten just gone on Tuesday the 22nd of June and um, I've just got a couple of um, cards that I'm going to make this morning with using um, designer series paper in you know the scrappy bits really. Um, though I have cut them from newer bits, it is mainly scraps and it gives you some ideas of what you can do with designer series paper without having um, you know, having to use whole sheets and uh, so yeah, so um, hopefully you'll like the cards and I'll, uh, I'm just going to turn the camera around and then we can get on uh, with me. Okay, so the first card, um, a fellow demonstrator showed on his, um, well, on Facebook, it's uh, Kevin Feaston in America, and I've just changed it slightly from what how he's done his um so this is the first sort of card i'm going to make okay so for this i've got a, a black card base which measures eight inches by five and three quarters and if you want that in centimeters i don't have my centimeters it here uh it's what's that 20 20.3 20 centimeters by 14.6 and then it's scored halfway so at four inches or um 10.1 10.1 roughly okay so that's the base pop that out of the way then i've got a white cardstock layer which is basically quarter of an inch smaller on both sides so it's three and three quarters by five and a half or 9.5 centimetres by 14 centimetres. Okay, now I'm going to use my silicon mat for this because it's, um, I just don't want bits of glue um, strips getting everywhere. And first of all, I need to cut a two centimetre square. <clears throat> from one of the pieces of DSP. So I'm going to use this, this one. Okay, so I tend to do this by eye and I'm just literally going to glue it straight onto this white piece roughly in the middle glue gets a bit of a bung in the end get another part I've just been using that one so it's I know there's plenty of glue in there it's always when you you're trying to do something on camera that they decide to stop working okay so roughly in the center okay now I've got some 
pre-cut strips of black cardstock. Um, these are quarter of an inch strips. And they're going to just go round. Now I'd butt mine up to this, um, this square because I wanted it a bit bigger. So you just pop a little bit of glue on the back and butt it up. And this is why you need the silicone mat because there's, there'll be some glue on there. Then take the next bit and this bit's going to go all the way along to there. So again, just making sure it butts up to the edge of that cardstock. And then the third piece. We'll go up to that one. And then last but not least, this bit will be a bit longer. So back there. Okay, and then you can just turn the card over and snip these bits off. Okay, then say just using your scraps really you can find bits that just fill in these gaps so i'm going to glue onto the card layer so i don't get too much glue everywhere and again it is literally just butting it up to the bits of black card I've got all sorts of bits and pieces here, so I'm going to use that one as well, I think. Then I think I'm going to stick with dots on this one. Possibly, and have them all I'm just going to cut that down, I think it should, should still be big enough yet yeah. I'm very much um, guilty of owning lots and lots of beautiful paper and never cutting it up. So one of the challenges I've made myself this year is to use the papers that I've bought because I buy them because they're really pretty and I, you know, they'll make lovely cards but then when it comes to it it's, I get quite upset cutting them <laughs> okay so those four are all butted up to the edge so again it's a case of turning it over and um, trimming it off so you can either trim it with a pair of scissors which is easy enough to do or obviously you could put it back on your trimmer and um, 
just cut it at the length of the uh, the white layer. But as I say, it's really quite straightforward. So I'm hoping the light's okay on this because it's quite overcast today. It's really sort of quite cloudy and grey looking, but I didn't want to put the big lights on and then get loads of shadows. So it looks okay on my laptop. So I'm hoping that it's okay for everyone else. Okay, so that's that bit let's get rid of those and get rid of the silicone mat for a moment bring my card base back in now i'm going to stick this on and you'll see you get a really nice effect i don't very often make cards with black bases but it does stand out quite nicely on these and then but you could make it with you know if you chose a different colored base you could change the colors of these strips all right now i've got got some characters from the zany zoo that I, I'm going to fussy cut. I haven't got the dies and the stamps for these yet. I may well end up with them not very far in the future because I think they're really cute. But I'm just going to go round and fussy cut. So some of these images are really quite easy to do that. Just um, just takes a little bit of patience. It's not something that everybody likes doing. But it does mean that, obviously, if you haven't got a stamp and cut, an emboss machine you can still use the individual images so it's a bit <laughs> a bit hard concentrating as well as talking sometimes so it's nearly finished, won't be long. Okay, so I'm going to use dimensionals and pop that one on there. So you could always um, see colour in the elephant, um, but I'm not. Oh, or am I going to? No, I'm not going to today. But you could, you know, you could colour in the elephant using the blends. I'm just going to pop this one on in there. And then, you know, you could put a sentiment on it if you wanted to, or you could just leave it like that and then put the sentiment on the inside. Okay, so that's, obviously I've put some um, put some of these pretty, what are these called? Tinsel Gems 4-pack. So these are really pretty. And, probably see they've got a bit of glitter inside them so i'm gonna 
I'll just pop a few of those on. just to add a bit of bit of sparkle so that's that really quite quick and um, easy card to make on that one now the next one is slightly different in it's more sort of it's one inch strip so I've got a very burst card base again in the same eight by five and three quarters and then I've got a lovely bubble bath layer which will go on there and with this one you need one inch strips of DSP and it could be any any DSP that you like doesn't have to be out of the same pack um but you you can literally do this with any paper so you find find the one that you really want to be like that's going to go on the largest bit and it's a case of just sort of placing them I'm going to move that up a little bit with a you know so you've got a gap a bit of a gap like how an eighth of an inch maybe in there and it's just a case of really sort of having a play with them, laying them out and getting the uh, getting them in the order that you want them in first of all Okay, so I'm going to do it roughly like that. So I'm going to start with this piece here. And again, the silicone mat's really useful so that you don't get glue all over you. table or your grid paper or whatever and it the card doesn't then end up being stuck to whatever your surface is I got glue all over my fingers and I never mind Right, so I'm just literally running just inside a little line around, I'm trying to only do it on the bit that I actually want the um, glue as close as possible. And um, And just sticking it down. And again, the effect really at the moment it doesn't look like much, but the effect comes into play once you've trimmed it all down and you've put it on the base. Okay, 
And you can do this with um, any size. You know, you could do this with a quarter of an inch strips if you wanted to and um, do it in, I don't know, a rainbow. Be a rainbow type of pattern or if I was doing this with quarter of an inch strips I think I would use our um, adhesive backed sheets though so that I didn't have to use glue all the time I'd put the put it on and um, it would certainly help this is I'm going to put that one that way so I can just chop off a little bit okay so now I've got to try and lift this up and it will have stuck in places as you can see there's quite a bit of glue on there I'm going to move my mat out of the way and um, and then again it's I'm going to because of the amount of glue I've got on this I am going to trim it with my scissors rather than um, rather than put the glue onto my trimmer So, and while I'm doing this, I can just let you know that next week there won't be a live, but I have scheduled a um, pre-recorded video. Um, I'm off to Italy early hours of Saturday morning with my mum. For a week, so that would be really nice. I'm looking forward to getting away and having a spending some time with my mum. So hopefully, I should be able to see if the. Uh, If my video doesn't go live, but it should do. I followed all the instructions on how to how to schedule it. So I scheduled posts of work before, so I'm keeping everything crossed. <laughs> okay, so get rid of those little bits. Another nice idea would be to you could put have this layer as um like a silver layer and then put the put them on so you get a bit of extra sparkle. Okay, so I'm gonna just stick this down. I'm aware I move that a bit quick then. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, it's quite effective. And then I'm just going to get another bit of the. I was going to get a, use a bit of the pink. Yeah, I'm going to use the pink. Um, and I want a nice dark sentiment. So I'm going to just get the berry burst. had a stump set somewhere and now I can't find it there it is okay so this is the 
go to greetings so it's got happy birthday hello just a note thank you and thinking of you so i'm gonna put a happy birthday on this one I might even do it a bit bigger. Get it bigger. Get a bigger um a bigger greeting. It might that little one might look a bit lost. that up or you could um, trim it by hand if you wanted I'm just going to quickly just trim a bit off each this end first of all I don't want quite so much pink at the bottom So then what I'm going to do is just roughly in the middle, I'm just going to add a little snip and then from the corner to that snip line and again on the other side just to make the flag and then I'm just going to chop that bit down okay so I now put some dimensionals on and I've got I could use any of these colors because they're all in there in the paper and this is lemon lolly it's beautiful it's got got a silver edge to it um, but I think I'm going to use the pink the bubble bath I'll just take the wrapper off of there and I sort of want probably about that much The only problem with glue everywhere. Things stick to it. Okay, so I'm going to trim that onto the onto the a slant, and then I'm going to just sort of fold this over. like that and then it can go on the card front and then of course we can add a bit more bling just by Pop in a few of these. On there. So that's the um, two different cards that uh, are using either scraps or very small pieces of pretty paper 
and um, this paper is the oh I can't remember what the paper is actually called bright and beautiful it's six by six loads of different designs in there but it's really bright and it's really nice for all sorts of um, cards male female kids and uh, and it's still on offer at the moment until the end of the month so um, good time to get some okay so that's uh, that's it for this week thanks for joining me and um, I'll be back in a fortnight's time okay take care bye